Hello there, I'm here at Electronica 2024 and today I'm pleased to be joined by Ender Nichols who is the Strategic Marketing Manager for Magnetic Sensors at Analog Devices. And today we're going to be talking about the ADMT 4000 and the world's first single chip multi-turn position sensor. So Ender, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Good, you're welcome. Why don't you give us a brief introduction to yourself? Yeah, so yeah, look, I started off my career here in Germany as a mechanical design engineer many years ago, but uh, I transitioned over more to the Megatronic uh, side and sensors um, early enough in my career. And I've been working in that domain since. Um, yeah, I have basically been in the sensor and sensor interface business now for over 30 years. I joined ADI in about 18 years ago. Uh, initially, I uh, was part of the automotive business unit, um, again, promoting sensors and sensor interface products. And in more recent years, I've joined the, uh, the industrial automation group and uh, focus now on more industrial automation sensors. Uh, Excellent. And, and most of our viewers um, have heard of, of analog devices, but give yeah. us a, a brief intro to the company as well. Yeah, so they're slightly older than me. <laughs> they're, uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're in existence almost 60 years and uh, they are started out as like the name suggests, you know, making analog uh, ICs. But uh, over the past 60 years, they've expanded significantly. Uh, now they're a world leader in, uh, in semiconductor products. Mm -hmm. um, they have over um, 75,000 products in the field, uh, reaching out to over 125,000 uh, customers. And uh, I think we have about 26,000 employees at this at this moment in time. So they they're now um, not just making analog parts, they're making sensors, make signal, you know, to full solutions. So it's it's it, they have now the full portfolio of, of products uh, to make a full solution for our customers, and that's what our customers are looking for going forward as well. Yeah, exactly. So I'm excited today to talk to you about the uh, ADMT 4000, mm -hmm. which was released back in October. Yes. Um, and yesterday it won Electronic Specifies Excellence Awards. So yeah. congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you. Um, so can you tell us more about the product? Yeah, so as, as you said at the start, it's the world's first multi-turn position sensor. So there are many, many uh, single turn sensors in the field. The, um, they can be magnetic based as well, like hall based, GMR, AMR, TMR inductive resolver or even optical encoders but they all have a limitation of being able to measure one single turn mm -hmm. so we have um, we've created the world's first single chip multi-turn position sensor it has a measurement range of 46 uh, full revolutions and it's accurate to about 0.25 degrees over the full the full measurement range mm -hmm. excellent and i understand um that the sensor solution incorporates three die in the IC package. Um, uh, can you tell us what those are? Yes, yeah, sure. There's three die. Yeah, there's two sensor dies. One is a, a GMR uh, spiral, which uh, we get the multi-turn uh, information from. On that same die, we have also a quadrant uh, sensor uh, for 90 degree um, measurement. And we get the precision from an AMR angle sensor in okay. the die. Uh, and it has a limitation of 180 degrees. So we combine the multi-turn the, uh, with the, the GMR, sorry, the GMR multi-turn with the AMR uh, information, and we uh, mux that into a signal conditioning IC. And uh, yeah, uh, in the signal conditioning IC, then we have the smarts on board to do any calibration, take out any harmonic errors in the system, mechanical errors and magnetic errors. Mm. And we provide a, a digital output through SPI. Uh, of the from, from the of the full range zero to forty six turns. So, given all that you've said, then what do you think makes the product so unique? Well, yeah, well, it's the um, it is the multi turn. Uh, it, it hasn't it hasn't uh, you know nobody has managed to get it into like a single uh, chip solution today. And um, for this is it makes it extremely unique because even when I see customers coming up to me, they they don't they can't comprehend it initially because it doesn't exist. <laughs> so it's a little bit uh, it's quite funny. But yeah, the, the, this GMR spiral um, technology that we've evolved, and it took it took many years to get this to work. It's not didn't happen overnight, and there's a big team effort back mm -hmm. in in uh, ADI Limerick, Ireland, uh, to making that happen. So, yeah. but it is it is that GMR spiral uh, technology that we've developed that uh, is the is the is the core. Yeah, the, the fantastic. Technology. And yeah. how long um, will the sensor hold the the multi turn position information after the power is removed? Yeah, we get that question quite a lot. So. The, basically, the energy 
that um, uh, generates the turning, the turn information in the chip comes from a rotating magnet, okay. which is external to the chip. So if that magnet has, has to have a magnetic window of between 16 and 31 millitesla, a certain mag magnet, uh, magnetic field uh, density. So if that uh, field strength is, is maintained, then the uh, sensor will hold the information for as long as you want, indefinitely, as far as we're concerned. Um, so you could basically pull the plug, take the power away for 12 months, a year, 10 years, come back, plug it back in and it'll have that information. And if something has happened in between, if there's a rot multiple rotations or half rotations, it'll record that information. Okay. So, so it, is, it is quite unique in that regard. And why do you need to reset the sensor in, in the application? And, and, and how do you reset the sensor yeah. in the application? <laughs> Yeah, good question. So, so basically, it's a magnetic sensor. So to make sure it's not corrupted through transportation or when you're assembling it uh, in the assembly line into your actuator. So we would recommend, and it's actually almost necessary in any case for the end user once it's built in to know the, to, to reset the position. Right. So it, it's important to do that in the application. Uh, how is it done? So basically, you need to generate a, uh, a strong magnetic field to f reset or fill the spiral uh, with domains. And that goes to max turn count. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can apply an external magnetic field mm -hmm. above 55 millitesla to do that. Um, you can also do this, uh, do an overturning. So you can, if you turn the part to 46 turns, it'll stick at 46. But if you do a full 46 turns, you've cleared out any defects or if there were any, I'm sure I'm not saying there were, in the spiral. So that's another way you can do it. And the third way is you can actually put a, a little coil on the PCB underneath the sensor and you can energize that with an external circuit, uh, which we have a, 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 we, we, you know, we have a reference design for that. Mm -hmm. So basically that's, that circuit can be external. So you just ping the, uh, the PCB coil uh, after assembly and that resets the sensor. And the customer then knows exactly where, where the part is at. Brilliant. And, and you've mentioned applications a few times, but um, can you give us a, a specific example of an application? Yeah, so I think maybe just I'll show this uh, yeah, demo do. here. Yeah, well, we won't power it on at the moment, but this is a typical application where you have a, a rotary to linear drive system. Okay, so we can simply put the multi-turn chip at the end of the motor shaft opposite this magnet rotating here. Okay, so the sensor is going to record all the, uh, the movement at all times with and without power. So it knows the position of this block here at all times. Today that's done by putting a linear transducer along here mm -hmm. and connecting it to the block so that when you power up you know where you are. So you can see customers are excited to introduce it because it can eliminate a lot of size and weight and, and solution costs from their actuators. So that's one example and I guess, you know, there's multiple applications for that. Any XY tables in industrial automation, you know, um, robot joints, cobot joints, and even uh, merging humanoid joints is, uh, it's, you know, that, that's a, a really good application for it. So mm -hmm. there's, that's one area. Uh, medical equipment, again, where you have scanners, XY tables, okay. and so on. You know, even aerospace, aviation, satellite movement. There's, yeah, we've had, uh, you know, we've, we've been open, every week somebody opens their eyes, eyes with a new application. So it's, no, it's brilliant, yeah. Especially when you're at a show like Electronica. Yes. <laughs> um, I yeah. also understand there's going to be um, an automotive grade release. So, yeah, um, that's, so that's when's, correct. When's that scheduled uh, for? Yeah, so we have samples now of the automotive version, so we can sample customers that are interested in it, mm -hmm. into that application. So we're, we're fine tuning the, the function safety requirements at the moment, and uh, we're planning to release it in 4Q25. Uh, but as I said, we have silicon now, and it'll be uh, it'll be an Azel B ready uh, qualification on that part as well. So fantastic! And I understand that ADI is preparing to release a magnetic reference design that will enable users with little or, or no sort of magnetic design capability to, to easily adopt the ADMT 4000. You know, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I can. So so the sensor operates with a magnetic window, as I said before, between 16 and 31 millitesla. Mm -hmm. So if it's a very harsh environment you, and you get a strong stray field into the environment, we would recommend shielding uh, of, the, uh, of the magnet. So ADI have come up with a, a reference design magnet which incorporates a shield as part of its assembly. So it enables customers simply to put that at the end of their shaft and uh, opposite our, 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 our sensor and uh, it, it creates a, a very robust, a robust solution. Um, yeah, and I guess 
yeah, that's 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 the basis for it, you know. Yeah, fantastic. And can you explain how the ADMT 4000 makes it easier for, for designers, especially those, you know, without the expertise, you know, how how does it make it easier for them to incorporate this this into their project? Yeah, so as, as I explained there, you can eliminate a mechanical engineer designing an actuator can replace a complete linear transducer in the system. So it's for them, it's a big benefit. Um, not to scare them off, we have, as in terms of putting something magnetic in there, yeah, we have the reference design magnet, yeah. as, as we discussed. That's one thing. And uh, we are generating at the moment, and it'll be available soon, is a tool for our customers to simulate um, the magnet in their design. It'll be an online, very fast uh, response time on that. So that, that's, that's, we're really excited to introduce that, we'll be introducing that in the next couple of months. And um, in the meantime, we have our reference design and the team can help uh, help support the customers. But uh, that's another tool we'd help to make it easy. You know? Of course. And, and following on from that, how does the integration of, of the TPL multi-term position sensor simplify sort of system design compared to, uh, to more traditional solutions? Yes. Yeah, so um, I gave one example there, I guess, um, where I could, you could eliminate a linear transducer in a, in a rotary to linear actuator type application. Some of the customers today solve the problem by putting batteries into the, uh, for example, into a robot or cobot joint. Yeah. So they need, they have backup batteries in each actuator so that when it's powered down, they know their position when they power back up. But that's undesirable in most cases because batteries means more maintenance and um, more downtime. So it's, it's, it's going to impact the overall down, uh, factory, auto, you know, factory downtime. So from a sustainability point of view alone, it's a, be a big benefit to, to be able to eliminate those batteries. There's other systems out there where you can actually put in a gearbox and you can reduce your multi-turns down to a single turn and then use a single turn sensor. But naturally that's going to add you know, mechanical hysteresis and there's going to be some drag and some wear in the system as well. So, yeah, the, again, the multi-turn chip is contactless as well as powerless. Okay. So there's no mechanics. So you've, you've, you don't lose any, any, any energy or, or, you know, and you've no wear or associated with it. So, yeah, they're the three main areas that we've seen where it brings huge benefits. Fantastic. And can you elaborate for us on how um, your magneto-resistive sensing technologies and signal conditioning capabilities are driving innovations in sort of these kinds of applications. Yeah, so we're fortunate that the ADI have a, such a broad, you know, broad width of, of technologies and capabilities. Um, we have in-house uh, magneto-resistive capabilities, sensor capabilities. Um, so we can make AMR sensors. We not make them; we can design them, and we have, you know, sensor designers. Mm -hmm. We can go from design to manufacture and so on, all in-house. So we have that uh, in one building, if you like, and in the other building we have our IC designers that do the signal conditioning side of it. And um, even beyond the sensor, we have power products, we have interface products and so on. So we're getting to the point now where we've full signal chains for our customers, and that's, that's what they like, you know, a one-stop one shop for, for the whole, the whole uh, bill of materials, if you like. So I think we're fortunate now to have that going right to the edge, right to the uh, the other the other side of the signal chain. So yeah, no, it's that's that's a good capability I think to have, you know. And can I ask, are you planning to increase the measurement range of, of the sensor at all? Yes, good question. Yes, yeah, so the forty six turns is pretty good for a lot of applications, but we've had have a lot of requests also for a higher turn count. So we're working behind the scenes at the moment, developing the next generation product. Um, yeah, and we're gonna go, we're gonna have multiple generations and we're working on multiple generations. So if anybody wants to know more about the next generation product, I, you know, just reach out to us and we can share details of that, those products and, uh, and the roadmap uh, as well, so. Brilliant, yeah, definitely encourage our viewers to do that. And yeah. before we finish then, can you tell us um, a bit about your partnership with DigiKey and how you see that benefiting your customers? Yeah, so, you know, as I said at the start, we've, I think, 100, over 125,000 customers. So, you know, and DigiKey have been a long standing partner of ADIs and support many, many of our thousands, in fact, thousands of our products already. So, yeah, there's a long term uh, strategic partnership going there and long may it continue. Um, you know, so I suppose, you know, beyond that, like with all our partners, ADI need that because we need that reach and we need a mar additional marketing and advertising that comes with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, uh, no, it's, it's, it's an ideal match in terms of partnership. Yes, we think so too. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us and for telling us uh, more about such a fantastic product. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Same here, thank you very much. Thank you.